Hello! Are you getting your tonsils out soon and you're nervous and looking on the internet for ways to make the recovery process as easy as possible? Uh, good news is you're in the right place. Um, when I was in your shoes a couple weeks ago, I was nervous looking online and didn't really find a lot of videos five minutes or less. So that's what I'm going to aim to do here today. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The five things I wish someone told me before my tonsillectomy. Number one, self-care. I found it extremely helpful to utilize all of the softest pillows, the fleeciest blankets, uh, good smelling candles, and uh, my favorite chapstick just to help keep myself as comfortable as possible. As you're probably hearing, it's not a comfortable surgery by any means, so anything you can do like that to help yourself uh, goes a long way. I personally love Arnold Palmer, the tea, iced tea lemonade drinks, and bought about six of them before the surgery because, uh, you know, you you know need the stuff you love to feel better. So. Um, yeah, and then I would also say um, to take care of yourself in a way that is treat the day before surgery business as usual. Don't give in to the temptation to have a huge dinner. Uh, your digestive system will thank you. Number two, what should I eat? Everyone's telling me I can eat as much ice cream as I want. Okay, to start this, let's talk about your throat and how this is a traumatic event that is going to inhibit your throat's muscles ability to operate normally. So my suggestion from my experience is eat popsicles applesauce, slushies, and any of those places like Sonic, if you're so lucky to live close to one, that sell the ice chips. Um, those are extremely helpful. Uh, the, you'll notice that I didn't list any dairy on that list. That is because for me personally, I was dehydrated from not drinking enough water um, because it hurts to drink. I was taking the pain medicine and that also um, makes you even more dehydrated. And then the dairy just just started thickening my saliva in ways that made it harder to swallow. So of course you can have some ice cream, but I would just recommend taking it really easy or just doing it at your own pace. Um, but you're gonna if if that is hurting you like it hurt me, I was so much happier once when I had some things that were non-dairy related because that really just started making so much more sense than eating that. If you happen to have a juicer, I would highly recommend doing some green juicing. Any recipes though that don't have citrus, because that would probably not be good. Around day five, day six, I tried a chicken broth with spinach in it, and it was really good. Um, super easy to make. Highly recommend it. So um, try that if you're if you're feeling um, that something hot might, instead of something cold, nourish and provide comfort to your throat. Number three, your tongue might hurt a lot. Okay, so technically I was told this before surgery, but it was about 15 minutes, and I had a hundred other things running through my mind. Um, the clamp that the surgeons use for your tongue can cause some pinching around the sides, and um, that's what happened to me. Uh, today, I'm on day 14 of my recovery from my tonsillectomy, and I still have areas and patches on my tongue that I'm getting feeling back into. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, popsicles, again, are really great for easing that pain. You can just very easily move the ice from one side to the other, and um, uh, that really helped me a lot in comforting and soothing that pain and discomfort. Speaking of tongues, uh, get one of these guys. It's a tongue brush, and uh, yeah, if your doctor has already told you you're gonna have bad breath, that is an understatement. Uh, yeah, bad breath is inevitable, and uh, one of these guys just can go a long way in helping you uh, just get out any of uh, that bacteria that is causing that bad breath. Number four, reducing your dose in pain medicine. My doctor didn't give me any sort of timeline on when I should be dialing back the, the pain, so I just wanna tell you, for me, that was around day six, day seven. Uh, I was really tired of the groggy feeling that I was having every day taking this pain medicine while I needed it to get through the pain. Um, around day six, day seven was when I started experimenting getting off of it. Um, do it sooner rather than later. The stuff is really nasty to your whole system and uh, you'll just thank yourself that you did. It's Your body just starts returning to normal functioning and I just felt so much better. I remember around day seven, day eight because I was off that pain medicine and moving around. And number five, when you start feeling better, you're gonna get those food cravings to eat some normal food, and I'm telling you, resist the urge. Okay, so my doctor put me on a seven day liquid diet followed by a seven day soft food diet, and I would say that was pretty much exactly the time my throat needed to recover. Um, on day three or four, I tried eating cooked rice, and it caused a lot of discomfort. Um, I was given one piece of chocolate dessert, it was like a mousse, and eating it immediately started stinging the back of my throat. Um, so even though that was something soft, it was still very painful. So I would just recommend just playing it safe. Um, you're already in enough pain. No, no hot dog or hamburger is that's going to cause pain is really worth the craving. So just hang on tight. If I did it, you can do it. 
I was having dreams of mozzarella sticks on day four, no joke. And um, yeah, like it was hard, but I'm just so much, I'm so glad that I did it. And that's it for this video. If you're interested in more details about my personal experience with my tonsillectomy, I am recording another video that will be linked in the description below. So you can check that out if you're interested. Good luck with your procedure. I hope everything goes well and take care. Bye guys.